Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. The ocean. Infinitely vast and mysterious. Underneath the mighty waves. Another world, seldom seen by human eyes, awaits. A world of beauty. A world of excitement. But also a world of dangers lurking around every corner. For beneath the tranquil waves, a predator is on the prowl. A creature that knows no fear, no remorse, no end in sight, except kill or be killed. One of the most diverse and unique family of animals. Sharks evolved hundreds of millions of years ago to be the ultimate predator of the ocean deep, with over 470 species of sharks described, over 13 orders. They exist in every ocean, in every corner of the planet, with a few even existing in freshwater lakes and rivers. It is also one of the most prolific predators on Earth. They range from the deep sea lantern shark, the size of a human hand, to the great whale shark the largest now living species of fish on Earth. Though commonly thought to be solitary predators, ranging the ocean in search of food, this is only true for a handful of species. Many more retain a more sedentary lifestyle. lying in wait of nearby prey, or patrolling a smaller area. And many shark breeds, such as the hammerhead, are indeed highly social, forming schools of hundreds of individuals, sometimes forming cross-species groups. They've existed long before there were animals on land. And before plant life had taken hold. Sharks evolved over 400 million years ago. Though they looked very similar to the sharks of today, the first species were considerably different internally. With most species existing not only in the shallow primordial oceans, but also in the freshwater lakes. Trawling along the soft muddy seabeds. The modern shark emerged around the time of the dinosaurs, flourishing after their extinction, with species such as the megalodon, which could grow to be as large as 66 feet, 
compared to the great white of today, averaging at a mere 20 feet, feeding on whales and giant sea creatures. Closely related to the rays, skates, and chimeras. Sharks belong to a wider group of ancient fish. With the skeleton made out of cartilage rather than bone, making them significantly lighter than other fish of the same size, but also more flexible and weaker in skeletal structure, leading to many sharks that become stranded on dry land to be crushed under their own weight. Most sharks have eight fins, all made up of an elastic protein, similar to the keratin found in human fingernails. The fins include a pair of pectoral fins, two pelvic fins, two dorsal fins, an anal fin, and a caudal fin, the main propulsion for every shark. The shape of the caudal fin signifies the lifestyle and habitats of the shark. Vertically symmetrical crescent-shaped tails signify fast-swimming sharks, such as the mackerel shark, and enhances their swimming speed, power, and efficiency but it doesn't allow for much precision in quick twists and turns. Top-heavy caudal fins, where the top half is upward facing and significantly larger than the bottom half, make up the most common type for sharks. And provides greater flexibility and agility for the shark. With combined cruising efficiency and sharp turning ability, thresher sharks and requiem sharks are included in this group, with the thresher even using the top lobe as a stinger to stun its prey. Shark breeds sticking closer to the muddy bottom, such as the cat shark, have this type of fin, but even more so, sacrificing speed. Dogfish sharks have similar tails, but where the backbone runs lower than the lobe itself, reducing downward thrust and thus their average speed, but in return allows for quick bursts and great agility. Angel sharks are highly unusual in that regard. Their lower lobe is significantly larger than their upper one, as they are more closely related to rays and spend their time hidden against the ocean floor, awaiting nearby prey to come within range of attack. Also, unlike other fish, sharks have a tightly woven mesh of teeth-like scales for their skin, known as dermal denticles. The tiny sharp scales are made of flexible collagen fibers functioning as a thin outer skeleton with muscle attachment points, allowing for superhuman muscle strength and endurance, while conserving the shark's energy. Energy used by the shark's breathing system in order to pass the amounts of richly oxygenated seawater required through the gills. Sharks have developed two physical means of breathing. Either they swim through the water at significant speeds, with their mouths held open in order to take in water. or they pump it in by flexing and undulating their buccal muscles, drawing water in with each breath. 
as buccal breathing is heavily energy intensive, many sharks have entirely abandoned that as a means for breathing. Instead, they are required constantly to be moving, swimming, hunting, without rest or reprieve. The shark's jaw is also not attached to the skull, instead being upheld by massively powerful muscles and a mosaic pattern of crystallized salt plates known as tesserae, sometimes arranged in several layers for extra durability, giving it the same strength at its weakest spot as the hardest bone. Whereas the snout is often made out of spongy, soft cartilage, able to not just withstand, but absorb direct impact as it charges its prey. Also, unlike bony fish, sharks don't have gas-filled swim bladders for buoyancy, but rather a large liver filled with oils lighter than water. Thanks to their large and well-developed pectoral fins, Sharks can also maintain depth by dynamic lift, angling their fins to create lift while moving forward, gliding through the water, much like the wings of an airplane. The average shark cruise speed is fairly low, only slightly faster than the average human walking speed, but can increase to speeds up to that of city traffic with the fastest being the short fin mako shark at 30 miles per hour. Sharks are never truly asleep, with some breeds required to continue swimming in a semi-dormant state. And all sharks sleep with their eyes open, following every visible movement by instinct. Widely known for their sense of smell, Sharks can detect even the tiniest drop of blood in the water and can determine the exact direction and distance by smell alone. Many sharks also focus in on the distinctive smell of the chemical processes found in the digestive systems of their prey, leading many sharks to be confused and hover around sewage outlets. Their sense of sight is also highly evolved, with an eye structure highly similar to the human eye. They have similar lenses, corneas, and retinas, even dilating pupils. But the shark's eye is also uniquely adapted to marine life, with exceptional low light eyesight and uninterrupted stereoscopic vision, as they never blink with the surrounding waters effectively cleaning their eyes for them. Though they are effectively colorblind, with many sharks only being able to see shades of green and gray. Shark sense of hearing is also acutely developed, enabling the shark to hear prey from miles away, via a small opening on each side of the head, connected to a series of openings all along the skull making the shark highly sensitive to direct vibrations and electrical fields generated by all living organisms. As every animal generates some small measure of electrical activity through muscle activity, the shark can sense the mere presence of even a buried prey in pitch black conditions. The shark has the most sensitive form of electrolocation known in the animal kingdom. Responding to fields as low in charge as five nanovolts per centimeter and changes in the surrounding water temperature. It is believed that sharks even use the electromagnetic fields of the earth itself to navigate the seas. Lifespans vary by species, as does its prey. Most sharks live 20 to 30 years but with the whale sharks and certain dogfish far outlasting human lives. 
Most sharks are carnivorous and feed off smaller fish and other marine animals, such as schools of mackerel, halibut, clownfish, pipefish, eel, squid, goby, or crustaceans. As some have developed unique flat teeth to crack their shells. Some sharks even commonly attack and feed on other sharks, as well as larger sea mammals like dolphins and seals. More sedentary shark breeds suck their prey into their mouths once they're near, while others actively hunt in packs to take down a common prey, traveling hundreds of miles to do it. While most fish reproduce by laying a vast multitude of eggs that hatch into many undeveloped young, sharks carry only a few eggs, turning into highly developed young. Young sharks that age relatively slowly, with some species taking decades to reach sexual maturity. Intercourse among sharks is also internal, unlike most fish, where the rear of the male's pelvic fin may be used to deliver semen into the female. Mating is rarely observed, but is usually preceded by a period of courtship, wherein the male swims alongside the female, biting her to show interest and eventually to secure a position for intercourse. Some cases have been reported of asexual reproduction among sharks, where a female has conceived without any prior contact with a male. It is unknown how often it occurs, if at all, in the wild. The eggs are commonly carried by the female for an extended pregnancy while hatching inside her overdog, where the yolk and secreted fluids nourish the young sharks before being born. The whole process may take as long as two years, from conception to birth, for some sharks. Many shark species take the opportunity to consume the other unhatched eggs while still in the oviduct, or consuming their neighboring embryos. A few shark species, such as hammerheads, bull sharks, and blue sharks, maintain a placental link to the embryo rather than an egg, leading to live births highly similar to mammalian pregnancy and delivery. Only a select few sharks lay their eggs outside of their body, often hiding them in crevices and dark corners where they are hard to access by predators. After birth or hatching, the young are typically left to fend for themselves. sharply intelligent, sharks have shown inquisitive behavior and can even be playful among themselves. Originally referred to by sailors as sea dogs, the word shark itself comes from the German Schurke, meaning villain or evildoer. reflecting their intensely negative associations and common human sensibilities towards the animal. Though often depicted as man-eaters and monsters of the deep, sharks are ultimately responsible for the deaths of only a dozen people over a 10-year period, out of the nearly 500 species. Only four have ever been confirmed to have attacked humans. The bull shark, the white tip shark, the tiger shark, and the Great White, all of which constituting the biggest carnivorous sharks, who are prone to get aggressive when provoked or tempted by starvation to attack. In occasional instances, they can confuse the contours of surfers with sea turtles or seals, becoming attracted to the swimmer by the vibrations and splashes in the water. 
as well as shiny objects the swimmer is wearing, such as watches and jewelry. The perception of sharks as dangerous man-eaters has, however, been perpetuated through mainstream media, with the few attacks that occur often significantly publicized, such as the Jersey Shore attacks of 1916, where an unknown shark killed four, injuring one along the shores of New Jersey during a two-week period. Because of this and their unique physical properties, shark fishing has been immensely popular with 100 million sharks killed by humans every year, often for the sake of shark finning, where the shark is pulled up on deck, their fins cut off while they're still alive, and then dumped back into the ocean, unable to swim. They frequently die slowly from predation or suffocation, as they are unable to swim to pass water through their gills. The fins are then used in the highly valued delicacy known as shark fin soup. considered a status symbol in Asian countries, often ascribed near mythical qualities of being alternatively a potent aphrodisiac or significantly extending one's life. This despite the high levels of mercury found in shark meat, which can be potentially poisonous. As a result, shark breeds have become increasingly endangered with more and more species put on red lists every year for being commonly fished and sold from unsustainable populations. Sharks have also long been notoriously difficult to maintain in captivity. In particular, the great white, which has never survived longer than seven months in captivity. Only in fully equipped ocean parks can any other shark species survive for long with many dubious dealers selling sharks to home aquariums, leading to unwitting owners accidentally killing them. The shark, the mightiest predator of the sea, is quickly becoming hunted into extinction. based on superstition and misconception. Only intensive preservation efforts and increased public awareness may save them. But even then, some say it may be too late. Until that day, sharks will continue to stock waters everywhere as one of the last remaining wild predators on Earth. <laughs>